What's up guys welcome back to the music channel today I wanted to talk about one of the most important things that you can do not just as a guitar player But also as a musician as well Improvisation Improving jamming kind of just playing whatever you want to I wanted to make this video to talk about it because I really haven't seen too many other people talk about it And it is very important improvising regularly can lead you to new creative ideas new riffs new songs And ultimately it can help you build your musical style It might just be one of the most important things you can do as a musician It's gonna help train your fingers your ears your brain doing long jams on the guitar can help build up the dexterity in your fingers it helps with your ear training because it helps you get a feel for the song or the loop at least if you're playing over something and you will gain a musical galaxy brain from all of the knowledge and understanding that you'll be gaining from improvising i've talked about this in other music related videos before but one of the most important things you can actually do as a musician is fail i'm pretty sure i've talked about training to failure kind of like how you train to fail in a gym you need to do it with music as well and improvising and trying to play different things on the guitar specifically can help you make mistakes which will help you learn from them it can teach you how the voice of your guitar can intertwine with the music surrounding you so so how exactly do you fit in? Do you shred too much? Should you play less? Don't let questions like this fill you with musical anxiety. Instead, look at it as an opportunity to learn something. <laughs> Unless I plan to record something new, I'll probably be using a lot of B-roll footage from when I last did the jam video. It was the Sailing the Seas of Ganymede, I think is the name of the song from Satriani. For full transparency, that jam wasn't like one cohesive thing where I was straight up like playing all of that for seven minutes. It was kind of chopped up because I made a lot of mistakes. But that's the whole point of jamming, that's the fun of it. You get to try out different things, try to come up with new ideas. There were plenty of times during that jam session that I was trying to like do certain techniques over and over and over again, and some of them I just straight up couldn't even do. This technique that you're seeing right now, yeah, that didn't even make it into the final video because I was trying to do it, but I really couldn't get like a feel for the tempo. I absolutely love this technique, but it just didn't fit into the video and I wasn't able to completely nail it. So it taught me something. It taught me that I need to work on that technique more if I want to actually use it and have it be in something. It's a lesson I might not necessarily have been able to learn if I wasn't trying to, you know, jam or improvise. As much as it stinks to be bad at something or to fail at something, it's also very necessary. And it taught me a valuable lesson. I need to work on that technique more if I want to actually perfect it. In regard Regardless of failing, there were actually some techniques that I was working on in that jam that I was actually able to get down. <laughs> Sailing the Seas of Ganymede is its own song, but obviously when I want to do like a Satriani jam over some new songs, I want to try to reference some of his newer music as well. So I was purposely trying to incorporate the main riff from the Elephants of Mars song from the album. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> Obviously in the main song it's played in a different key so I had to move it around and stuff and I was having a little bit of difficulty trying to actually get it down. And thanks to me being super stubborn and wanting to actually have that be in the video I eventually got it down a couple times and you might have actually heard it in the full jam video. <laughs> with the Pokemon theme, I thought it would just be kind of funny to throw it in there and it weirdly kind of worked out. <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, improvising and jamming at the end of the day is supposed to be fun, so try not to overthink it. Just have fun with it. You have to make mistakes and play the wrong notes in order to find the right notes. And you can't do that unless you're willing to mess up. I hope this video was helpful. I know it's not like the most like in-depth or informative thing, but it's a good reminder to all of us. There's all kinds of things that you can be working on specifically when it comes to guitar. You know, you can learn your chords, you can learn your skills, you can be practicing different songs. But ultimately, if you're trying to find your voice or your style on the guitar, you're going to want to improvise more. And when it comes to improvisation, the options are basically endless. There's so many different ways that you can actually improvise. You can just pick up the guitar and do whatever you want to. You can play over a metronome. You can have a beat from a song, whether that's like a hip hop beat or maybe a rock beat, whatever you want to do. For the last video I did on the music channel, I just looped a specific section of that song because it sounded so good. And I really wanted to see what I could come up with just by playing over it. And it's totally okay if you don't have some kind of massive musical breakthrough right off the bat with improvising. I can tell you guys from experience, sometimes you'll go to improvise and everything will just suck. I've had a number of days and nights like that where I want to go improvise and play over something and I really just don't have any ideas or I feel like I can't come up with anything. It's completely fine. Sometimes there's days when you're shredding like Steve Vai and then there's other days where you're playing the Little Wayne guitar solo. <laughs> just keep at it and I can almost guarantee you that something good will eventually happen. I hope. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video about me talking about improvising on guitar or other instruments. I mean, it applies to basically anything, even the acoustic spork. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more stuff on the music channel, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.